Hello. Um, thank you for the lovely welcome and intro. Yeah, I have something pretty important to tell you. And it probably couldn't come at a, a more important time as we're planning for the next six months. Um, I'll keep going. Now, a little bit about myself. There's some new people in the room and there's some people watching, so I'll just start from the, from the basics. My name is Karen. I'm part of Creative Shop Australia. And I've had 14 years in agency life, so I understand the kind of grind, um, understand the kind of pressure that we're under, um, and the kind of crazy long nights that we're constantly facing. And during that time, I made the most important decision of my life. And I want to talk to you about when it was and what it was and the impact of that. It was, I remember it vividly. It was a Thursday, it was around 6 p.m. and it was on May the 21st. And I was at the agency, it was a busy night, and I got a phone call on my phone. And it was my husband, Brewer. And he said to me, you better be in that bloody car. I've got the bolognese ready, I've got a bottle of your favourite wine, and I've even lined up that hideously romantic movie that I refused to watch the other night. Tell me you're in the car. And you know what, usually I put up a bit of a fight. I've kind of wrestled with it a little bit. We had a lot of arguments over me working late. But there was just something in his voice where I couldn't say no. So I walked back into the boardroom, and I said to my team, guys, I've got to go home. And they were a little surprised because it's not usually my kind of work ethic, a bit of a workaholic. But they said, you go and do what you need to do. I said, we'll be back in the morning. They said, fine. So I hopped in the car, and I went home. And I'll just skip this a little bit. The night was amazing. I walked in, the lawns were mowed, the house was clean, <laughs> the bolognese was ready. Uh, he handed me a bottle, a, a bottle, a glass of red wine. We did drink the bottle. <laughs> and we had the most amazing night. We watched the movie and it was just it was absolutely perfect. Now the reason going home at that time was the most important decision I ever made is because this blank slide kind of really represents where my life plunged to the next day. So the following day, I lost him in a tragic accident. And that meal of bolognese was the last meal I ever had with him. That was our last night. And I've gone over this so many times in my head. If I hadn't have gone home that night, if I had have been 20 minutes, I was 20 minutes late, if I had have been a couple of hours late, I think the grieving process for me would have been a million times harder. I do believe that I just, I don't know how I would have dealt with it. Um, and this is Rua, ridiculously handsome. He'll love that he's on the big screen up here at the moment. I do count myself as a lucky one. We were together for 13 years. I met him when I was 18. He was crazy, he was half Irish and half Māori, he was mad. Uh, we had an incredible life together. We travelled the world, we had loads of adventures, and right up until that last night together, we were madly in love. We used to giggle together because we knew like, us other couples were having problems. We were like, oh my God, I still love you so much. He's like, I know, it's weird. Um, 13 years and we were still inseparable. And I think what I really want to do with this kind of lesson is that I was definitely suffering from this. It will never happen to me syndrome. I never in a million years thought, even the word widow is just the most foreign word to me now. And I never saw it coming, as you don't when it's a tragic accident. Uh, and I definitely lived my life like we were going to be together, if we were going to live forever. But you know, bad things happen to good people. And you really have to take account that every day, we've only got certain blocks of time and it's how we want to spend that time, and it's how we support each other to spend that time. And I think the key thing for me at the moment is, yeah, this is a story about me and it's a lesson, but it's going to be about what you guys do with it and where you guys take it. And here's what I think we should do, and I'm completely open to some feedback on this, is we make a bit of a pledge. We need to get each other home for their bolognese. And I just want to have a little chat about what bolognese actually means. Because it can mean anything. It's anything that makes, gets you home and warms your heart. 
It can be getting home on time to read a story for the kids. It can be getting home to, to ring your mum. It can be meeting, having time to meet your, your brother for a beer. It's what is that thing that warms your heart that is non-negotiable that you need to get home for. And since we've got such an amazing culture here, everyone's kind of jumped in to really bring this message to life, which has been both overwhelming and really humbling for me. Uh, there's a poster, there's some copies arriving today, and my, the lovely creative shop team, Dan, Klaus, and Andy, are going to put them up in an area where we can really use this as a lesson and we can really lean on these words to help get each other home. And that's the key point, is to put this poster up somewhere and to keep this story in your heart that when you're about to leave at night, take a little look around. Is there anyone, by all means, get yourself home, but this is a group effort. Is there anyone still there? Do you need to check on them for five minutes? Is there a deadline that you can move? You can kind of get a gut feel when you know you need to get people out of the office if they've been working too hard. So it's working as a team to really keep an eye on each other to do that. And starting this message here has kind of meant everything for me. Um, I've spent enough time with all of you to know that we've got a pretty insane culture here. I get, I'm humbled on a daily basis on how much I can see us banding together. And even the support to get this message up here and to share it with you guys has been overwhelming. It started with a little invitation in Singapore to get up and share the story, and then the support from all of Creative Shop to keep going with it, and then the Creative Hub getting involved in making the poster and uh, being encouraged to get up and doing it in San Francisco and now bringing it here and taking it to the next level with you guys. It's just, I mean, that's the most amazing example of how powerful we can be. And what will be amazing is to see how you guys can use it and then how you can use it with your family and your friends and you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Now I've got a bit of a deal. And the deal is... I'm here for anyone who needs to chat. If anyone's going through any grief themselves, generally, you can ring me, you can email me, you can ping me. I'm totally here for it. And the thing that I need from you guys is to know that you will get yourself home for the bolognese and you'll help each other get home for the bolognese. So is that a deal? Can we do one more without a deal? Yeah. Awesome. Now to really take you on the little next journey and to cement this right from here on, day one, going on with this, guess what we're having for lunch? <laughs> the most amazing uh, Michelle has organised bolognese, so we are now going to all have a meal together. And that's amazing. Thank you. Let's do it.